What's going on guys? Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with more tech, more reviews and this time we're going to be talking about how to connect your mouse to your iPad 7th generation. So let's check it out. So with the introduction of iPad OS or iOS 13, you can now use your mouse on your tablet. So the first thing we want to do is to go into our settings. Once we get into settings, you're going to actually just scroll down until you see accessibility. You're going to touch accessibility. You're going to come here to touch. You're going to go to assistive touch. You're going to turn that on and you're going to activate your assistive touch. As soon as you activate your assistive touch, this little block right here comes up on the screen. Now, we're going to talk about that a little bit later on because that can be helpful as well. But for right now, we want to kind of blur it out. So taking that button all the way down on the opacity to 15% kind of blurs it out on the screen. That way you don't really know it's there. Now, let's talk about how to actually pair one of these. Now, my favorite way to do this, because some of these new devices that you're trying to connect will not allow you to go directly through the Bluetooth. Now, I think this mouse will. This is the Microsoft Surface Arc mouse. I think this one will allow you to go straight through the Bluetooth, but I want to show you this way. Go back out to accessibility. Now, when you're in accessibility, this time you're going to go to switch control and you're going to go to switches, Bluetooth devices, and it's going to start searching for those Bluetooth devices. Now, to activate this Microsoft Surface Arc mouse to turn it on, you break it in the middle, the light starts to flash, and you hold down this Bluetooth pairing button right here. The light will begin to flicker, and it's searching, and we're just going to wait for it. Okay, so this is actually taking a little too long. I want to go back out here to Bluetooth and there it is. So this for this instance, the actual Bluetooth route is better because in the switches, it wasn't picking it up, but you can see right here, surface arc mouse connected. And now you have this cursor on the screen where you're rotating and moving your mouse around. Now let's change this. Go back to accessibility and you're going to go to touch and you're going to go to assistive touch. And then you're going to just drop down here and go to pointer style. You can change the size. You can auto hide it after 15 seconds. You can change the color. Which I'm going to make it red. I'm going to bring the size all the way down. You can bring the size all the way up. Now, I don't like that. <laughs> and I wish that we could actually get a real pointer. But this is the closest that we're going to get. So now the... Arc mouse is very special because it actually works with touch gestures. See, we can scroll with our finger or you could just hold and pull down. Either way, you got good accessibility. Now let's talk about this little thing right here, assisted touch. You can use this as like a little shortcut menu. You can take you back home. It can open up these things and this can be customized. A right click is going to activate that wherever your mouse right clicks at. It's going to be activated and then a left click is just going to accept whatever you want to do over there. Going back into accessibility, you can now change how you are going to use your mouse as far as speed and different things like that. So everything that you want to use or, or customize to your feeling tailored to you, you can do that through accessibility. So a lot of people are going to say you're not getting an actual physical mouse connection, but you really are. It's, it's through the assistive touch, but you still get the full mouse feel. You click on that. You click right here. You go home. You can swipe through the screens. Even on this mouse, you can swipe up and get your apps and you can swipe those away if you really wanted to. Now, you don't have to do all this. It's a little mundane, but you can do it. The feature is there. 
So that has been the way to connect your mouse to your iPad 7th generation, your 10.2. This is the Microsoft Surface Arc mouse. I've done a couple of reviews on this before. You activate it by bending it. If you wanna get rid of it, I'm gonna do this. If you wanna get rid of it, make it flat, it disappears. You lose the connection, you turn it back on, it reappears. So it's an excellent device that you can use, it has a sleep wake uh, feature. Like I just showed you the wake, if you leave it idle for about 15 minutes, it goes to sleep on its own. It's very precise, it's on point, it does the job, it gets everything that you need to be done, done. Only problem with this mouse is that it runs on these batteries, it does not charge up through a, it does not have its own battery built in. So you're gonna have to replace those batteries, but, but I guess that is a good thing because if you don't replace the batteries, when the batteries go out in a mouse that you charge up, you're gonna have to replace the whole mouse. You know how that goes. Either way, <laughs> you gotta buy something new every now and then. Also, one of the cool features about the Surface Arc mouse is that it has the ability to show up right here. So your battery percentage is gonna be right there on the screen. If you click that widget, you go all the way down to widgets and you can edit that widget and add batteries. It should be down here somewhere. Just add it to your favorites. It will be pinned on that main screen. And when you go back, come here and there they go. So all your widgets can show up right there. It'll show your battery life on this and you'll be able to keep up with that and know when you need to replace those batteries. Well, this has been another quick tutorial. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.